re regulatory networks that control salinity, stress, tolerance, and rapeseed plants at the germination stage. So this lecture is delivered by Dr. Brahim Abdelkhalik. Dr. Brahim uh, is a lecturer at the Botany uh, Department, Faculty of Agriculture, Fayoum University, Egypt. He received his PhD from the uh, Cultivation and Farming Systems from the College of, Ag uh, College of Plant Science and Technology at Wazong Agriculture University in Wuhan, China. Uh, Dr. Brahim also uh, has been shown a marvelous output of the research in plant science, uh, physiology and plant science. Uh, he also obtained various kinds of research awards. Dr. Brahim participated in more than five international academic conferences. He also uh, has published more than 20 peer-reviewed uh, scientific articles. Also, Dr. Brahim reviewed, uh, as, uh, serves as a reviewer in many uh, international scientific journals including plant methods and the BMC plant biology and uh, frontiers in plant science and also the chemosphere. Dr. Brahim's interest is the suffering transcriptional regulatory networks that control salinity stress, tolerance and rapeseed plants. Uh, I will leave you now to the lecture to hear directly from Dr. Uh, Brahim about his exciting research. Dr. Brahim, you can start sharing your lecture now. Uh, thank you very much for your nice introduction. Uh, it is my pleasure to be uh, with all of you uh, in uh, the first uh, lecture for me at NGBS. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you for all of organizing members, uh, uh, Dr. Ahmed Salam uh, and Dr. Abdelal and uh, others. Uh, also, I would like to say thank you for all of attendance uh, in these lectures. Uh, 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 for, uh, my name is Ibrahim Abdul uh, Khalid uh, Abdel Mala Muhammad. Uh, I am uh, a lecturer uh, at Botany Department uh, uh, of uh, Faculty of Agriculture, Fayoum University. Uh, today, uh, I am very pleased to share uh, my uh, lecture uh, uh, about uh, deciphering transcriptional regularity network that controls the salinity stress tolerance in a seed plants at the germination stage. Uh, can you see my uh, my uh, presentation? Yes, Dr. Brahim, we can see it. Okay. Uh, the lectures uh, outlines uh, our uh, uh, research background study objectives, materials and methods, results, summary, and future directions. Uh, uh, research background. Uh, uh, oil rapeseed is the third largest vegetable uh, oil uh, worldwide, and the production uh, uh, is most important, uh, very important uh, 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 in the world because it is the large the third largest uh, crop for the uh, vegetable oil uh, production. Uh, it was observed a uh, noticeable uh, increase in the reap seed production and uh, uh, harvested area uh, at the last 20 years uh, because uh, uh, there is uh, uh, most uh, uh, increase in the uh, uh, increase in the uh, concerning by the reap seed production all over the world. Uh, so the production and the harvested area uh, increased in the last 20 years ago. Uh, for the uh, latest uh, countries in, in, in uh, uh, reap seed production, the first country is Canada, uh, then uh, European Union, then, uh, Ch uh, then China. Uh, uh, so uh, China uh, was, uh, from the uh, largest countries uh, improved and and uh, development is the production of reap seed. Uh, therefore, the yield per hectares uh, increased uh, quickly uh, at the uh, last ten years. Uh, uh, yeah. Here's the problem of the salinity stress. Uh, salinity stress is one of the uh, major uh, abiotic stresses. Uh, all over the world be, because it uh, reduces the uh, measure crops by more than 50%. So uh, 
soil salinity affects approximately 20% of irrigated lands and reduce crop yields significantly. Uh, uh, yeah, after that, uh, uh, the salinity stress causes um, many, many problems for all uh, the crops uh, in the world. And uh, it estimated that about half of the world's lands will be saline by the middle of the 21st uh, century. Uh, salinity stress sensing and tolerance. Uh, we know that salinity stress cause many uh, abnormal uh, effects uh, on uh, in the plants. Uh, for the reap seed plants, uh, we have two kind of uh, uh, stress that make the by salt stress. Uh, 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 ions stress and then osmotic stress. Uh, uh, the reap seed plants can be uh, can be sensed the NE. Uh, after that, some signals produced, such as ROS generation and uh, calcium ions and potassium efflux. Uh, and phospholipids and protein kinase, all of these signals uh, produced under salt stress. Uh, these signals uh, do uh, response for the plant cells at the germination uh, excitation level and signal transduction and enzyme activation. Uh, all these responses affect on uh, antioxidant enzyme activation and membrane stability and secondary metabolites accumulation and photosynthetic and stomatal regulation and growth and development responses. All of these responses uh, 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 can be uh, important can be important for the salinity stress tolerance and survival and salt stress. Uh, so uh, we here in our uh, study uh, put some some objectives to uh, uh, to study what is the regulation, what is the uh, regulation of uh, gene exhibition at the gene exhibition level. So we. Uh, uh, focus uh, in this stage to know what is the uh, network uh, can be uh, can be help uh, to uh, uh, develop salt to tolerant cultivars at the germination stage uh, first of all we start to screen the salt tolerant and salt sensitive uh, cultivars uh, and also uh, uh, screening for the most traits correlated with the salt tolerance in reap seed plants. After that, we uh, identified uh, or uh, do uh, RNA sequencing to, to identify the enriched pathways and different exhibits gene and the canadigians that participate in salt tolerance. After that, we uh, put uh, 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 another objective to provide useful knowledge about potential genetic tools that can improve the salt tolerance of uh, reef seed. Uh, all of this help us to decipher the transcriptional irregularity networks that control sanitary stress tolerance in reef seed at the germination stage. Uh, our materials and methods, uh, we uh, decide to uh, do several steps to uh, to study or to identify the uh, genetics uh, tools related to salt stress. Uh, we uh, started by phenotypic analysis uh, uh, based on uh, some traits related to germination, uh, such as germination rate, short lens, root lens, uh, short dry weight and root uh, dry weight. All of uh, these parameters used uh, to be uh, calculate or assessment of salt injury index and salt tolerance index. Uh, and we select the optimal, uh, optimum salt uh, level uh, at 200 millimolar of NECL. Because this optimal uh, co uh, concentration uh, cause uh, uh, more than 20% uh, uh, of injuring for the uh, germinated uh, seeds. So which we, we so we selected this uh, this uh, concentration for uh, our study. Uh, 
Uh, after that, we uh, have done evaluation for the salt tolerance based on uh, MFV. Um, uh, this is uh, membership function value. This analysis, we have performed it to uh, do evaluation or screening all of our genotypes under salt stress conditions. Uh, then we select the most salt tolerant cultivars and the most salt sensitive cultivars. After that, we select the most important time points that represent the germination phases. Uh, uh, the, the, the issue here is that we should select the most important time points uh, that we uh, take uh, our samples. Uh, because the time you choose to select the, uh, uh, the samples is very, very important uh, in our MA sequencing analysis. After that, after assembling, we uh, uh, have done a comparative transcriptomic analysis or in the sequence. Uh, 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 here, uh, we uh, have done uh, two experiments, uh, one for the germination stage and uh, uh, another experiment for seedling stage. Uh, at the germination stage, we um, uh, sowing our seeds uh, at uh, zero, uh, uh, millimolar in ECL and under 200 millimolar in ECL uh, uh, and select two cultivars, one uh, uh, extremely uh, tolerant and one extremely sensitive. We can see here uh, this uh, uh, variety or this cultivars uh, was most tolerant, uh, but this one uh, not germinated. So we consider these uh, cultivars as salt sensitive cultivar. Uh, the same results also uh, was uh, uh, we observed it at the seedling stage. Uh, this one under 200 millimolar and ECL, uh, it was uh, to tolerate, but uh, for this one uh, was uh, sensitive at the uh, seedling stage. Uh, so we selected the two, uh, those two cultivars for further analysis to uh, discover the, uh, uh, some key genes or hub genes related to salt tolerance. Uh, uh, also for the phenotypic analysis, we uh, selected the, those two cultivars uh, uh, under, salt, under normal condition and under salt stress conditions. Uh, in our results, we have uh, found big difference between the sensitive cultivars uh, as compared to the, uh, the tolerant cultivars uh, under salt stress and under normal conditions. Uh, also, we uh, have found uh, a suitable uh, uh, in germination percentage from the third day up to the six days. Uh, so we decide that uh, this this uh, this period before three days is the most critical um, uh, time for the germination of reap seed. Uh, so uh, we uh, uh, have done another experiment to select what is the most important time point so we can uh, take our samples. Uh, based on the water uptake of uh, of seeds, we have selected. Uh, uh, we know that the germination. Uh, happened at the three phases. First phase is the increase in water uptake. Second phase is the uh, uh, water uptake uh, be suitable. But uh, the third uh, phase, the, uh, there is an increase in the water uptake. Uh, so we select our time points at the same uh, uh, for our uh, experiment. Uh, we had selected uh, zero time. This is dry seeds and 12 hours uh, uh, of the uh, seeds uh, and the 24 hours and 48 hours. Because, because this uh, four time points represent uh, the uh, difference uh, between the uh, salt sensitive cultivars uh, uh, with, uh, as compared with the to, uh, salt tolerant cultivars. Yeah, to, to, conf to confirm our results, the previous results, we uh, have uh, done some biochemical analysis uh, 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 to uh, uh, indicate uh, that uh, uh, 
yan yo 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 nine uh, yan yo nine uh, this is the name of our uh, cultivars uh, tolerant to salt stress and zs uh, juan chuan 11 uh, this uh, is a sensitive cultivars to salt stress uh, we have performed this bi biochemical analysis to confirm uh, 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 the phenotypic analysis we have found for the uh, h2o2 uh, hydrogen dioxide, very big difference between the tolerant and sensitive cultivars. That means uh, that uh, this means that the uh, H2O2 uh, is accumulated under uh, uh, in the salt sensitive cultivars under salt stress uh, as compared with the tolerant cultivars. Uh, also for the SOD superoxide dismutase activity and uh, uh, CET catalase and ABX ascorbate peroxidase activities, uh, all of these uh, three uh, enzymes, we found that uh, uh, there, uh, there are a big difference between the tolerant cultivars as compared with the sensitive cultivars uh, uh, under salt stress. So uh, uh, our, uh, our, uh, uh, our cultivars uh, is good for for the analysis and we can uh, use uh, uh, those cultivars for uh, transcriptomic analysis uh, we have uh, uh, taken uh, taken the samples at at uh, at uh, four time points as i mentioned before uh, at zero time and uh, 12 hours and uh, 24 uh, hours and uh, 48 hours after sowing of seeds uh, uh, after that, we uh, do RNA extraction, CDNA synthesis, and sequencing library preparation, and sequencing with uh, next generation sequencer, and mapping raw uh, sequence data to uh, reference genome. Uh, after that, we have done differential exhibition uh, uh, analysis or uh, DEGs, different exhibition genes using DSEQ program. Uh, after that, we have done uh, GO gene ontology and the key EGG analysis and uh, 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 do all of uh, uh, RNA sequencing analysis. Uh, from our results, uh, this, uh, this table show us uh, uh, RNA sequencing uh, uh, data. We used Alona technology. Uh, our samples were uh, 42 samples at different time points uh, uh, and uh, 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 used the reference genome that we mapped our uh, data to it uh, to uh, ZS11. After that, we have uh, uh, performed a correlation analysis and the PCE analysis for our uh, exhibition data. Uh, to know uh, if our uh, uh, data is uh, good for further analysis or not very good for the analysis. Uh, uh, our results uh, 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 provided that uh, the, the replication of, uh, of each treatment replications it was each other. This means that our result is very good for the uh, uh, further analysis. Uh, then we have uh, uh, used the uh, dif differential expressed gene DEGs to uh, uh, find uh, to find the uh, uh, if the, uh, our different expressed gene show a difference between our treatments or no uh, for those two cultivars under uh, salt stress. Uh, the, the biochemical process of rapid germination is regulated by higher coordinated uh, transcript dynamics, and we found big difference between uh, the salt uh, sensitive cultivars uh, under uh, uh, salt stress. If we compare this, uh, uh, if we compare these samples uh, by the uh, uh, tolerant cultivars. Uh, that mean uh, th uh, this means that our results uh, is very uh, very uh, uh, good for uh, 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 ontology analysis and key analysis 
uh, and uh, we can uh, select the most uh, the most pathways related to salt tolerance uh, in rip seed plants at the germination stage. Uh, then we have performed Venn diagram analysis for seed germination process uh, based on different exhibit genes. Uh, we have selected up regulated genes and uh, down regulated genes. Uh, we found that uh, in uh, UU9 and uh, uh, ZS11, uh, we have found uh, uh, that upregulated common genes in uh, UU9 uh, is uh, more than uh, uh, in ZS11. Also, for the downregulated genes, we uh, found that the common genes uh, were highly in the uh, so, uh, salt uh, tolerant cultivars uh, uh, as we compared with the salt uh, uh, sensitive cultivars. Uh, also, uh, we found that uh, in uh, UU9 cultivars, the number of upregulated genes, uh, upregulated genes, uh, uh, and now regulated genes, uh, 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 were higher in the tolerant cultivars than the sen sensitive cultivars. Uh, also, downregulated genes were uh, uh, high in the tolerant cultivars if we compare with the sensitive cultivars. And if we compare the, uh, 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 the uh, salt sensitive cultivars under normal condition by the salt sensitive, sensitive cultivars under salt stress, we uh, uh, can find uh, highly upregulated uh, genes. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, this means that our results is very uh, good for uh, for find some genes and the pathway related to salt tolerance in. Uh, reap seed plants. So after after uh, uh, we have done uh, this analysis, we performed the uh, gene ontology analysis and uh, key EGG uh, analysis to find uh, what is the most enriched uh, pathways related to salt returns uh, in reap seed at germination stage. And we found that uh, the carbohydrate metabolism associated uh, pathways uh, uh, were uh, 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 the most enriched pathways related to uh, salt deterrents at the uh, seed germination. Uh, here, this, uh, two, uh, these two uh, heat maps show us uh, that we can find a highly big difference between the tolerant cultivars under salt stress uh, if we compare it by uh, the salt uh, sensitive cultivars under salt stress. Uh, 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 so we have uh, uh, draw uh, uh, this uh, uh, this pathways uh, of uh, uh, carbohydrate uh, energy production pathways. Uh, uh, we 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 selected more than 41, uh, 41 uh, uh, gene family related to salt uh, tolerance uh, that show us a big difference between that uh, sensitive and uh, tolerant cultivars. Uh, 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 this is the uh, sucrose uh, starch metabolism, and uh, this is uh, uh, glycolysis and glycogenesis pathway, and TCE uh, uh, cycle uh, pathway, and fermentation uh, pathway. Uh, all of these four pathways, uh, 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 we have selected the most key genes related to the uh, carbohydrates and uh, uh, energy production uh, uh, to select uh, those genes for further functional analysis. Uh, then we found also the hormone uh, uh, hormonal pathways uh, uh, also uh, showed some. Uh, uh, key genes or hub genes related to salt tolerance uh, in rape seed plants at the germination stage, uh, including the euxine hormone and cytokinin and uh, gibberellin and acylin and salicylic uh, acid and abscisic acid and prosinostroids. Uh, 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 those uh, uh, heat maps also show us a big difference between the tolerant and the sensitive cultivars for uh, those key genes. And after that, we have uh, 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 performed this diagram to uh, uh, to show uh, what is the genes families 
should upregulated under salt stress, and what is a genes a families uh, uh, showed down regulation under salt stress. Uh, 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 gene families in red color. Uh, this means uh, is that uh, this genes family uh, are uh, are upregulated in the salt tolerant cultivars, but the uh, uh, green colors uh, represent. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, this gene family uh, were down regulated in the salt tolerant cultivar under salt stress. Uh, then we have uh, found also uh, MABK signaling uh, where uh, 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 signalings were also uh, enriched under uh, salt stress, and we found that. Uh, 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 we found that some uh, transcription factors uh, 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 were uh, different expressed under salt stress between the uh, tolerant and uh, sensitive cultivars at the germination stage. Uh, then we uh, 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 have used we have used uh, the genes uh, uh, observed between the tolerant and sensitive cultivars to uh, uh, to uh, perform uh, 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 an important analysis. This analysis is WGCNA, Weighted Gene Co-Expression Network Analysis. Uh, uh, this analysis enables us to find what is the genes can be co-expressed together to, uh, uh, to, to uh, or uh, uh, Involved in uh, uh, appearing or uh, uh, do uh, uh, such uh, tolerant to uh, salt stress or uh, any phenotypic uh, uh, parameter. Uh, so, from our results, we found that uh, uh, turquoise model was the most correlated uh, model to salt stress, uh, and in these models, we found that. Uh, highly correlated with the tolerant uh, 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 with the tolerate to salt stress, but not tolerated with the tolerance in uh, sensitive cultivars. Uh, uh, also, in the brown in the brown uh, model, we found that. Uh, 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 but in the brown model, we found that this model was uh, significantly uh, uh, negative correlated with the salt tolerance. This model was uh, negative to uh, the uh, uh, salt stress. So we uh, saw that uh, this model may be uh, or could be uh, uh, correlated with the uh, dormancy or the uh, salt sensitivity. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, those, two, uh, those two models we have used for further analysis. Uh, then, uh, we uh, uh, select uh, uh, this genes to uh, identify what is uh, the most uh, connectively genes uh, and draw the network uh, that enable us to find what is the most key genes or hub genes related to salt tolerance in uh, rape seed. And we found that uh, uh, PHLH115 uh, 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 this gene uh, refilled to basic helicase, low helicase. Th this gene was the most uh, uh, connective gene uh, in the uh, turquoise model. Uh, but for the brown model, we found we found that uh, OEB162 and VEB family protein. Uh, uh, these two genes were the most hub genes or the most uh, 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 highly connectivity genes uh, uh, in rape seed uh, 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 tolerance at the germination stage. Uh, therefore, we uh, in uh, future experiment we will uh, uh, select these two uh, genes for functional analysis and uh, uh, do like uh, uh, transformation or uh, or uh, uh, like that or CRISPR or like uh, technology, uh, such as technologies to, to uh, confirm the, uh, that 
those uh, genes is very, very, very important uh, for the soil to tolerance at uh, uh, germination stage of grip seed. Uh, uh, after that, we have uh, determined some uh, enzymatic activities and phytohormones uh, uh, content uh, to uh, conform uh, our transcriptomic analysis. We have done uh, four FEBA and ICDH enzymes activities, and we measured uh, some uh, 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 phytohormones uh, 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 content, such as uh, IAA, GA, and ABA, and uh, CK. Uh, the results showed us uh, there is a highly big difference uh, and significant difference between the tolerant uh, uh, variety uh, under salt stress uh, as compared with the uh, salt sensitive cultivars uh, under salt stress. Uh, uh, that means that uh, this means that uh, our results is uh, is uh, our transcriptomic data is very uh, very important and we can. Uh, uh, um, yeah, is this our uh, our results is very 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 uh, 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 good. Also, we have done uh, QRT PCR analysis to do uh, verification of our results of RNA sequencing, and we found that um, uh, a highly positive correlation the transcriptome data and uh, the, the QRT PCR uh, analysis and uh, the correlation and. Uh, uh, the correlation was uh, 0.94. Uh, uh, therefore, uh, uh, here we uh, I will talk about uh, the uh, uh, conclusion about all of my uh, uh, my research. Uh, 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 yeah, number one, uh, bio biochemical process that underpin salt st uh, salt stress uh, tolerance in uh, reap seed at germination stage. Uh, provide uh, provide uh, a different uh, comparison, uh, bearwise comparison in our uh, uh, in our uh, samples, and also the transcriptomic analysis identified different expression genes for the salt tolerance at germination stage between the two contrasting uh, 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 rib seed uh, variety. Uh, from our results, we found that plant hormone signal transduction and uh, MEBK signaling pathway and uh, starch and sucrose metabolism uh, 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 highly enriched uh, at the germination stage. Also, uh, starch and sucrose uh, glycolysis and glycogenesis in fermentation and TCE cycle uh, pathway were uh, uh, participated or me participated in salt tolerance uh, in rib seed, and we have selected uh, some genes related to uh, key genes or hub genes related to uh, salt tolerance, such as BHLH11. Uh, this is um, our uh, published uh, paper uh, in industrial crops and productives. Uh, for the future perspective, uh, uh, key genes related to carbohydrate metabolism and hormone signal uh, transduction and MEB key signaling related uh, pathways would be essential for functional analysis in coming studies. For the research is also needed for explain, uh, for explore and screen the suitable plant to hormone uh, with precise concentration that can make su successful survival under uh, germination and uh, and uh, uh, seedling growth for reef seed plants under salt stress. Uh, reef seed cultivars with greater osmotic uh, protective uh, can be um, uh, uh, can be used or integrated in uh, uh, saline in saline lands to improve their growth and the uh, uh, development of reef seed under uh, uh, this, uh, uh, these conditions. Uh, uh, I, I would like to uh, see Sankis for uh, 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 all of uh, who helped me uh, in my uh, research. Hua uh, John Agricultural University, this university uh, that I have uh, got my PhD, and uh, uh, this research was founded by Hua uh, John Agricultural University, Wuhan, China. Uh, and also, uh, I would like to see thank you for China Scholarship uh, Council. 
uh, and uh, also uh, to my home university, uh, Fayoum University. Uh, I would like to say thank you to my uh, uh, big boss, uh, Professor Zhou Guanxin, uh, my professor or uh, advisor in my PhD degree, and uh, um, a teacher uh, Huai Ji. Also, I would like to say thank you for uh, my teacher uh, Wang Pua and all my uh, uh, friends and my lab mates. Uh, also, I would like to say I would like to say thank you for uh, uh, Wang. He was helping me uh, so much in my experiments and uh, uh, and all of my uh, lab mates. I would like to also thank, say thanks for the uh, ISO members of Huajun Agricultural University. Uh, also, I would like to uh, see uh, thanks for all of technician uh, te technicians in our lab. Also, I would like to uh, see thank you for all of uh, leaders of uh, uh, Faculty of Agricultural Fayoum University uh, uh, and uh, uh, all of uh, who helped me to uh, uh, to uh, continue uh, our uh, uh, research. Uh, thank you for, uh, for your attendance for my lecture and I am ready for any questions uh, to reply. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Brian, for your lecture. And uh, now it's the time for the questions. So in the chat, we have one question from Abdel, Abdel Ghani Sobhi. He's asking, did you previously knew that uh, these two cultivars are tolerant or sensitive to salinity? Yeah, we. Uh, uh, this is very good uh, uh, chance and, uh, and I appreciate uh, uh, this good chance. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, our uh, our phenotypic analysis uh, 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 that we have done uh, showed us that uh, those two those two cultivars uh, showed highly big difference between each other at the uh, under salt stress uh, uh, conditions. Uh, also, we have selected uh, some uh, uh, genes related to salt tolerance uh, from our review. We have uh, do survey for the most important genes related to salt tolerance. And we uh, uh, look for the expression of those genes uh, uh, in the tolerant and sensitive cultivars under salt stress. And we found that uh, the expression level, uh, expression levels of uh, those genes, uh, uh, highly big difference uh, uh, in the uh, our samples, yeah. Thank you. Uh, if anyone have a question, you can just raise your hand, and I can allow you to speak. Okay. We have a question from Dr. Ahmed Salam. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Ibrahim, for uh, the nice uh, presentation. Um, and I have question related to your uh, RNA seq experiment. Mm. Um, I'm interested to know uh, how many replicates did you use? Yeah, for three replicates. Each? Okay. Yeah, we have uh, used the uh, three replicates from each uh, uh, treatment, and after that, we have performed uh, uh, correlation analysis and uh, BCE uh, analysis uh, to uh, make sure that uh, uh, our replication. Uh, don't show a big difference be between the uh, replicates. Uh, and we found that the correlation, the correlation uh, uh, analysis between the replication uh, uh, ranged uh, uh, from uh, 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 0 0.95 to 0 0.99. Mm. Uh, what that mean? That means that our uh, samples is very very good and can we can use it for uh, uh, such analysis. Okay, yeah. and uh, regarding to the tolerant genotypes, yes. uh, did they perform tolerant also at adult growth stage or you didn't test the um, salt stress at different growth stages? Yeah, uh, 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 it was um, uh, decided in our experiment that we will uh, uh, perform the RNA sequencing analysis at the germination stage, especially at the uh, uh, period of three days uh, that I have uh, uh, done in my uh, experiment. 
Uh, and uh, also we decide to select uh, another time points, such as uh, seven days after uh, germination and uh, 15 days after germination and uh, 28 uh, days after uh, oh. uh, germination to to uh, to, uh, uh, to know what, what, or understand why we have big difference between the tolerant and sensitive cultivars under soil stress. Uh, and, yeah. and we also have done uh, another research and we have found that the stomata, uh, stomatal uh, regulation uh, under salt stress showed us uh, uh, that the stomatal regulation under salt stress were the most highly correlated trait with the salt tolerance in reef sea. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, this uh, uh, will be, uh, inshallah, in for the uh, uh, experiment. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Roy. Um, yeah, we have another question from uh, Abdelyani Sobhi. He's also asking yeah. thought about ways to increase the salt tolerance of this salt sensitive plant in your future studies. Uh, yeah, yeah. As I mentioned before, for the future perspective, uh, 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 yeah, you can see here uh, this. Uh, um, uh, this slide, you can find that uh, all of the future uh, plan. Uh, one is to select the suitable plant hormones that we can uh, use or uh, as um, as seed priming or seed soaking or like uh, uh, spray on the plant uh, to select the precise concentration of uh, uh, those hormones it can improve the germination. And uh, actually, I have uh, done one experiment to uh, uh, to select uh, the most important hormones can improve the uh, tolerate of the sensitive cultivars. Uh, and also, uh, we uh, are now working on, on uh, experiment uh, uh, to, to, to uh, do, do transformation for one of uh, those key genes in Arabidopsis to improve its tolerance to salt stress. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Brahim. I have one question, it just came to my mind. It's not related to this uh, lecture, but it's about the, like the, so if we have like a non-tolerant uh, rapsi cultivar and uh, mm -hmm. like you, if you're like able to, or successfully able to, uh, Pass the uh, the tolerance to this plan. Can the can this plan like pass the tolerance to the next generation or during the seeds, or it's not going to be stable and it's going to lose it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, this is very, very, very good uh, questions. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate your uh, uh, your uh, you mention uh, this issue. Uh, uh, actually, we found we we have found that um, the uh, tolerance to salt stress uh, is is different at different stage, mm. uh, and uh, uh, this uh, uh, tolerance index for uh, salt uh, stress uh, show show um, not suitable uh, 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 index at different stage. Uh, so we think this is a, a good. Um, a good topic for uh, future um, future research to mm -hmm. understand why the uh, tolerance to salt stress in rib seed is different at different stage and how can we uh, make the tolerance to uh, salt stress suitable at the uh, different stage yeah okay and can the the character like the if you get the plant tolerant to the salt, can you pass it to the next generation by like breeding to produce like a new line or cultivar that is naturally uh, tolerant to salt? Uh, yeah, I, I think I think uh, I think we can uh, do that by um, yeah uh, uh, breeding the tools. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I in future uh, we try to uh, to. Uh, uh, yeah, we we would we would like to uh, uh, to accept uh, uh, that. 
I think if we can uh, do transformation for uh, our Zusto genes uh, in Arabidopsis, and we can, uh, uh, if we can find uh, uh, highly tolerant to so salt stress, so uh, it will be um, uh, a good suc uh, successful uh, 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 in the uh, uh, salt tolerance of rape seed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you too. Do we have any other questions? I don't see any question in the chat. Uh, oh, yeah, we have someone. He raised his hand. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you can just unmute your mic and ask your question, Mohammed Samir. Okay, thank you. I'd like to thank you, Dr. Brahim, about um, his uh, nice presentation. Uh, I have um, mm -hmm. two or three questions. The first one uh, is about how uh, do you confirm that the transgenic suppression is due to salt stress and not due to the genetic background or the time points? Is the first one. Yeah. Um, uh, you mean you? You mean, uh, uh, yeah, uh, please, uh, yeah, I need just uh, more details about uh, what you okay, would like to so, ask. Yeah. Um, the difference is uh, myself and yourself, if we drink water and uh, take samples for measure the gene, the French gene expression, are in a sick, we will get a great differences. And you are the same uh, from the same uh, background from Egypt, from maybe the same. So, how you can confirm that the differential gene expression you get in your study is due to salt stress tolerance or sensitivity, not due to the background of the genetic background? We work on two different varieties, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, also uh, the time points, the gene expression, the time points also affect the differential gene expression. If I measure the expression of a certain gene at different time yeah. point, I will get great differences between them. So, how you confirm that the that the results you get is due yeah. to uh, the yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, not due yeah. to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, our our selected uh, network for uh, key genes or hub genes uh, just based on the expression level. Uh, uh, as we have performed the differential expressed genes, between the tolerant and sensitive categories. Uh, also, uh, as uh, uh, we uh, will look for confirm that our results is uh, uh, is uh, correlated with the salt tolerance, we have made uh, many many treatments. About uh, uh, we. we used uh, about 14, 14 treatments uh, uh, and uh, 42 replicates. And those genes that we have selected were highly upregulated in the uh, tolerant and sensitive cultivars under normal conditions. And also we're highly upregulated in the tolerant cultivars under salt stress, but those genes were highly down regulated in the sensitive cultures under salt stress. W what uh, this means? This means that the expression level of uh, uh, those genes were highly uh, uh, in the tolerant and, uh, and sensitive cultivars under uh, normal conditions. If, if, uh, if uh, these genes not correlated with the uh, salt tolerance or uh, due to the background of genetic of the uh, tolerant or sensitive uh, cultivars, uh, uh, this uh, mean that the expression level of uh, uh, this, uh, those genes were down-regulated under normal condition. But under normal condition in the sensitive cultivars, we're highly upregulated. Uh, uh, this mean cultivar? Yeah, in the sensitive cultivars, uh, uh, cultivar under uh, normal condition. Uh, uh, this is uh, not not conformed to result. Uh, what uh, can uh, make the uh, conformation for our result that we do transformation analysis. 
or uh, uh, like uh, uh, use those genes in Arabidopsis or in uh, reap seed plants to confirm that uh, those genes uh, 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 truly uh, correlated with the salt tolerance. So this is what we are doing you now. Uh, we use uh, those genes to uh, conform the bifunctional analysis to confirm that these genes uh, uh, correlated with the salt tolerance in reef seed. Yeah. Okay. So the second question, did you measure the separation of these two selected genes um, different developmental stage of the plants under salt stress? Please, please uh, uh, did, measure did you measure what? Mm. Did you mm. measure mm. Uh, the expression level of these mm. two of the two selected genes um, mm. in the two cultivars under yeah. uh, sorry, in the different developmental stage of the two cultivars? Uh, it, uh, uh, we just we just measured. Uh, using QRT-PCR, uh, uh, measured okay. the expression level uh, at the same time point, 0 and 12 and 48 and four, uh, 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 24 and uh, 48 hours after sowing of seeds. Yeah, uh, at I mean four, different four time stage. points. Uh, no, I, not, I, yet, I mean, not yet, not yet, not okay. yet. Yeah, not at seeding stage or... Uh, not, stage not, yet. or no, not yet, no, not yet, not yet. Yeah. I recommend if you measure these genes also in different cultivars. So if you find the correlation between uh, the expression of these genes um, in like 20 cultivars, uh, this may, might make sense if they are correlated to salt stress. Mm. You ask? Uh... Yeah. Dr. Uh, did you, uh, yeah, yeah. Did, did you measure the expression of these genes in different cultivars or only these two cultivars? Uh, no, no, just just in uh, those uh, two cultivars uh, uh, at the uh, selected time points. Yeah, actually, we we uh, uh, I have uh, graduated um, uh, or got my PhD, and uh, uh, I am looking for the continual uh, uh, to. Do function and analysis for those genes here yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. So, do you mean this, these two genes are this the first time to? Uh, uh, no, no. no. So, uh, BHLH, uh, this uh, gene uh, ha uh, has been reported to correlate it with the uh, iron, uh, iron deficiency. Uh, so, this uh, genes was reported by uh, 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 have important role in the uh, iron deficiency, but for the salt stress, not yet. For salt stress, not yet. Yeah. Yeah, I think Dr. Ahmed. Yeah, thank you so much for your question. I think Dr. Ahmed also is uh, is yeah. uh, interesting in your question. Yeah, he just he just said that uh, uh, it's interesting to know of these um, expression of the two genes under different tolerant genotypes. So yeah, I think it's interesting. Yeah, uh, uh, he right on yes, uh, good points. Also, Dr. Muhammad Samir, very interesting to see the of these genes under different tolerant genotypes. Yeah. I think we don't have any more questions. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Ibrahim, for your nice presentation today. This is my pleasure. It is my pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think we can end uh, the meeting now. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you too. Thank you too.